All right, big daddies, we are at March 6th. It is Wednesday, March 6th. Yesterday was Tuesday, March 5th. We had a wild ride with Bitcoin touching 69,000 schmackaroos, big daddies. But what happened is it came in here, guys, right here. Lots of stuff happening. Then, boom, we immediately get the pullback, which is somewhat typical of the old Bitcoin pricing over time. Uh, you often see that it gets up to that top. You get back up to, let me get the right term here. Load this puppy up. You get the um, aggregated long short account ratio touching up near 1.6. And historically, when it gets near 1.6, you get a nice little pullback there. Uh, for me, I'm holding Bitcoin outright. I mine Bitcoin. Uh, and I also, for fun, uh, not for fun, what am I saying? But uh, as an option, I just play around with this freaking, uh, one of these ETFs is FBTC, because I notice it really moves, obviously moves with the Bitcoin price. Uh, a little bit of latency, which is good, so you can watch the Bitcoin chart over here and go, oh my God, it's shooting up. And then maybe a minute or so later, you'll see the price reflected in the uh, ETF. And it makes it, for me, it, it's kind of a nice way to trade it I uh, make a couple bucks or lose a couple bucks either way you look at it because I'm doing this in an IRA and I'm not going to worry about all the tax reporting until I you know withdraw it at my required minimal distributions or whatever you know what I mean so it makes it easy the money's there I can I can dump it uh, I don't have any fees associated with this at this point one thing fidelity bitwise uh, fidelity bitwise fidelity wise origin bitcoin is doing is they're waiving all of their fees until august i think it's like 0.25 or something i can't remember what they'll be charging but right now it's almost like hey i get to play with this uh buy in lose some money if i dump it or make some money i did buy in when it was going up i saw it rocketing up here to uh 59 oh god 69 on bitcoin and then of course fbtc i got i probably got in there about 50 what did i write down Oh, yeah, I got in about at the five. Yeah, I got in about 59. So it's down, but after hours pricing, if it shows it, you'll see it's up 1.38. So we're at 55, 56. But having said all that, to get to this point, everything was kind of hovering. You know, it kind of went up, did the magic, you know, oh my God, we're touching the all time high, bling, bling, bling. And then all of a sudden we get the pullback, the sells, people. People dropping out, making some profits, and it kind of did this little correction. Now it's holding at this bar level here, about 62.5. And then all of a sudden, every freaking night, it's almost about 2300 or about midnight on Eastern time, we start getting movement again. Now we went from almost, let's see, yeah, 62.7. It was kind of just hovering here. And now we're up to, look at that. Not much volume, a little volume spike, but it went up to, we're at 65, 300, boom. So interesting to see, it's a midnight Eastern time, 12, 18, if that puppy keeps going. Let me show you another little app, which I think is interesting. Uh, where is it? Let's close this out. Let's bring this puppy over. Trying to give you guys enough tools that I look at, and I'm still learning on, so you guys can do your own research and figure it out for yourself. Teach a man to fish instead of giving him a fish. I am still learning all this stuff. Some of this um, uh, chart analysis kind of helps you understand what's going on. It's not going to obviously predict pricing. Uh, who, whoever knows that, I don't know. But uh, some of the key indicators I learned about earlier today were, are we right here? Is this not updated? 63, this is not problem with this thing i don't know why it's not updated there should be a refresh on this thing let's go up here and do a reload <clears throat> let's see if it keeps my settings all right we're at 60 what is this thing man 65.3 there is an aggregated funding rate you can watch and you gotta make sure once it up here in the day look at this five march we're on the sixth now when it got up here and tested near this point one point one two it got up to these high ranges 
typically with the uh, aggregated funding rate. I right, let me change this to 20. Change this to 20 under settings. Go right, I do 20. So what is this tool before I go any further? This is a tool called coinanalyze.net, C-O-I-N-A-L-Y-Z-E.net. Go check it out, <clears throat> play around with it. It's a, this one's a free version. You can actually save templates and stuff. So coin analyze right there. And uh, one indicator I learned about was interesting is this uh, funding rate average. So yeah, when it got up here earlier today, we're on the fifth. When it got up to this high, man, then you typically get these pullbacks. You'll get a nice little pullback and then it's gonna solidify, which it's doing right now. And it's actually moving up. So it solidified from almost what? Uh, eight hours since the market closed. Uh, six, seven, yeah, eight hours. Let's just say eight, eight hours. We'll go look at the chart real quick. Um, let's see, went down, went down, went down. There's 1600, yeah. Right at, right at the closing bell, things kind of ticked up real quick, and then they kind of just leveraged out. Now midnight, boom, things are moving up. Pretty interesting. One other bit of information on this chart. Uh, where was it? You can go up to indicators and look for the shorts, the shorts covering aggregated long short accounts ratio. Uh, close that out, and you can move these up here. They see these little arrows. You can, if you don't like the location of these, and you can save these templates, right? Uh, you can then go into settings on here. Do, 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 right up here on the little sprocket. Sprockets. Uh, visibility is the wrong one. Style. I want, I don't want the little, I want a, I like histogram. Let's go with histogram. You can go set all your stuff right here. All right. Now when this gets up to 1.6, it's hard to see what this toll bar gets in the way. Now it's moving up closer. So where are we at? 1.4. It's pretty high. So when it's getting up to 1.4, we might have close, maybe another pullback crap. So the number, the threshold, uh, I think seems to be out there is 1.62 and it's kind of going back up. All right, let's see. March 5th, March 5th. Yeah, let's see. 2-2, two, two, March 5th. There's 11. There's 1,400, 1,600. So there... Right about, yeah, that's where it was spiked up. Wow, this is going to be interesting tomorrow because we're going up to, we're at uh, March 6th. Oh, my God. This is on, I got my clock. This is on uh, UTC time, so 0500, so five hours ahead. I'd set five hours ahead, but anyway. So, but the current time is 1222. Yeah, that value is going up. We're at 1.49. I don't know. From what I heard today, if it gets close to 1.6, it may pull back again. So we'll be interested to see what happens in the morning opening bell with um, Bitcoin and all the ETF flowing. Again, I think these ETFs, the flowing of it, the inflow of cash into these things are definitely pushing this stuff up. Um, too big to fail in a way. Not really, but it makes you wonder with BlackRock, Vanguard, taking all this ingestion of money from the normies. And now you got your, your, uh, the guy that, uh, well, let's see, washes your car is now talking about buying Bitcoin. Again, there's still, I think, a lot of room for, uh, for run up. Again, not financial advice. Uh, I'm mining. Like I said, I hold Bitcoin. I haven't really bought any more Bitcoin. I don't want to pay the fees of transferring all the crap. So I just, I'm just playing with the freaking ETF now. I'm letting my other stuff ride. Hoddle, hoddle, hoddle. Been hodling for since 2017. Uh, dump my Litecoin. Thank God I dumped it. Don't be loyal to a damn coin. Uh, Rode that up initially when like back in 2018 or so. And then the fool that created Litecoin dumped his. Should have should have known right then. As a newbie, I didn't know. As a red flag, should have got out right then. Boom. But then uh, maybe a couple years later, it bounced back up to 400 for a little bit. Boom. Then it corrected down and it's been hovering at 60 to 70. It's just what a joke. Joke coin. Uh, another shit coin. Uh, not moving at all. ETH, I'm not a big ETH fan. So with um, mind a lot of ETH, maybe that's why I don't like it. Or just the whole pro I don't know. I don't like the, all the freaking gas fees that kind of turn me off. The guay. Ooh, the guay. It's so stupid. Um, but I did swap my Litecoin last November, December. Yeah, last November, I swapped my Litecoin and my Ethereum. I swapped it all, man. I swapped it all for yummy Bitcoin. Thank God I did. Woo. Yeah. So that was, that was actually one financially good move I made is getting out of the shit coins and just getting into Bitcoin and riding that. Sure, people say, well, the yoke coins will follow and they'll catch up. I don't care. 
good for you. You know, <laughs> whatever. I'm happy holding Bitcoin. So now we're at 65.3. It's going to be interesting tomorrow. Will we break or will we revisit 69? Because like I said, I did buy. <clears throat> I did buy just for fun. I'm just, here's my thing. I'm, I'm in this thing. I'm just trading this thing. I'm just going nuts with it, trading it just to play and have fun. It's kind of stressful a little bit because, you know, I bought it at 59. Boom. It went up to 50. I bought it at 59 on this, this ETF. Bitcoin goes to 69. All right. All right. I'm doing good. Hey, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Oh, look at that. And then, of course, you get this. Boom. Right here. Over here where my mouse is. Comes down based on these indicators. We're triggered. And that was a sign of a pullback. But then we got the flattening. And now we're moving right back up at midnight. So interesting, man. It's just kind of makes you wonder if there is a reason to some of this stuff. But you just don't know. Now, having said all that, with all this movement, you have with it. A crappy day. Oh my gosh, if I could just, if I knew how to use a computer. Uh, Dow Jones was down 404 for the day. Uh, the only thing's up, the only thing up was Exxon was up for the day. Oh, Avi, which is a medical pharmaceutical thingy, I think. They make pills like every other company making money. They make pills. Uh, what else is up? And there was another, yeah, another, uh, ener this is a natural gas company I bought into. It's, again, it's small change I'm up, but I think now things, gas and oil seem to be going up. Tech is, I don't know what's going on with tech. I'm getting nervous with that. But uh, just playing around with this FET buy-in, trying to run it up, make some money, pay some bills. I don't know, or just grow my, not pay bills, but grow my nest egg because I can't touch this money. It's an IRA, man. So yeah, that's the plan. It's just roll it up. Don't worry about all the other stuff. Again, not paying any transaction fees or expenses or anything right now on this uh, on this uh, ETF after it after it ends the the freebies the in August then I'll probably stop doing it because I don't want to pay all those fees and I'll probably say oh my god hopefully by then I would made some mo real money and then put that either into a nice index fund or a freaking money market because who knows if the economy is going to collapse as the election nears you know you just don't know man there's only a couple companies holding up the stock market I think Nvidia is holding up the S&P 500 and uh, we got Bitcoin and gold, maybe gold, maybe not so much gold, but gold also holding up the other side of things. Yeah, so you just don't know if it's all going to collapse. It's like anything, it's gambling. So here we are. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. Check out this Coin Analyze uh, app. It's free. Go in, you can make your own views and stuff like that. You can put your trades over here. You can set your thresholds, stuff like that. You can pay for an ad free version. Uh, trick here. Pro tip, I should not tell you guys this. I saw someone else using this version. I'm going, why do they have ads everywhere? Because they're using the version, the free version. Do you guys notice what I'm doing? I'm using the free version. Why don't I have any ads? Hmm, what could it be? Could it be the browser I'm using? All right, if you guys know which browser I'm using, put it in the comments below. And if you're not using it, start using it. You will thank me. You will thank me. You even get paid in BAT, basic attention token. Is that what it is? Uh, which is the bat, the Brave Browser token. And it goes to a wallet. I set mine up. It goes to my Uphold wallet. It's, it's pennies. It's, I think, four bucks a month. <clears throat> but four bucks a month is better than zero bucks a month. And uh, you get paid in bad. And that could go up. It could go down. It could go sideways. It could go nowhere at all. What I do now and then, once I get to maybe 10 bucks or 20 bucks earnings on the, uh, from the browser, rewards is i just boom i swap that I, I swap that little puppy on uphold to btc and leave it on uphold it's small it's not it's god it's under 100 bucks it's like 50 bucks at that but uh, again uphold is you know they get you on fees as well everyone wants their fees that's how people make money uh so that's one way to uh, get ahead with no ads and make a little money on the side for um maybe you know it's gonna be a couple bucks a year big deal it's better than nothing Check out the Brave Browser. There you go. I said it. Thank me later. Subscribe, like, do all that stuff. There's your thank you, right? Or uh, join, a, become a member, man. It's always cool. I'll give you more information to members. As I get more members signed up, I'm going to start doing some more of my tips and tricks that I use, like this coin analyze I learned about today. I mean, I wasn't going to share this because I think it's kind of a powerful little tool, but uh, why not? But uh, just uh, almost as a way to say, hey, this is the kind of stuff I might start pushing out there just to members only.
hey, it all it may help, right? It may not. And you have to have a little bit of a brain, critical thinking skills to figure stuff out and uh, try to analyze and figure out how it's going to help you. A tool of the trade. Do not just listen to any idiot on YouTube about what's going on. You got to go through and say, okay, does this make sense? Now we're at 1.427. Is that a good number? The uh, average funding rate is seems to be decent. It's holding what it's been holding all pretty much. Let's see. It's down. Oh, my God. It's down quite a bit from, our, well, because, again, nothing's open and trading right now. So there's not much of the funding rate going through. That's my hunch. So we're kind of hovered. Uh, this thing I'm worried about tomorrow. So, geez, I don't know. This can be interesting. So knowing this number now, knowing what the, the thing is doing, Bitcoin is doing right now going up, will it break 69 or will it be a nice, a nice little another correction? Kind of coming down, little rise up, little peak, come back down. Buying opportunity, maybe, perhaps. Uh, you just don't know. But again, knowing some of these things with these charts may give you a better warm fuzzy what's happening. Um, yeah. And don't be afraid to take profits if you have Bitcoin. Um, say, I don't know. What do they say? You put a dollar in, you made a, made a dollar, take your dollar off the table and just play with house money. That would take a lot of stress out of it for people. If you're, if you're really freaking out, if you're losing your mind over this stuff, get out. You're not, you're, you're not wired for this. Go into a money market, go into a bond, go into an index fund. It just, you know, you could always lose your money there too, but you won't be freaking out with these fluctuations in the Bitcoin market. It's a crazy time. Anyway, that's all I got. We're 16 minutes into this puppy. Wanted to show you this, wanted to show you what I was doing with this uh, ETF. It's kind of silly, but it's easy, man. That's why I'm doing it. No fees. It's easy. And uh, man, I'm down, what, five bucks? Well, actually less. I'm down uh, for three dollars and 70, uh, what, 70 something cents. I don't know. 60, 62 cents. Whatever. I can't add. Uh, yeah, not too bad. And again, seeing the aftermarket movement of Bitcoin right now as a midnight, this puppy, we'll see what happens tomorrow at 930 when the markets open. It's exciting. It's actually good entertainment, uh, but it's with money. <laughs> so this is, this is only for entertainment. This is what I do for fun. Uh, do not listen to me at all. And if you do, you're a fool. But I'm just giving you the tools that I use and kind of what I'm doing, playing around with this crap. And having said that, I also am still mining. Ooh, six bucks a day. Oh, now it just corrected. Damn it. It goes up and down, man. It fluctuates between four and eight bucks now. So I'm hovering about 180. This is after th almost three weeks of mining. Not the greatest amount of money, but it's Bitcoin. I don't give a crap about the freaking uh, fiat money because that's just garbage to me. I want this number, 0 0.002, because this number is Bitcoin. And if it keeps freaking going up, boom, that fiat number is going to go up with it. It's, it's, uh, it's digital gold, Bubby. Bubby? Is that a word, Bubby? Oh, well. Oh, we're holding at 65.7. I don't know. If you guys have any tips on tools and stuff you use, let me know. I'll be honest. I, I'm not a big Coinbase fan, but I did use GDEX back in the day to buy my stuff because then you'd bypass a lot of the fees. Uh, they still do run their Coinbase exchange. They, they used to call it GDEX. Um, I preferred that. They must have bought it from somebody because it doesn't seem like it's theirs because it runs really good, right? <laughs> so this is GDEX, now Coinbase Pro, pro.coinbase.com. And uh, that's what I use. It seems to be one of the better real time. What the heck is happening with Bitcoin at the moment? And I do like this. And no auto, you know, it just auto refreshes. You can set your, your, your granularity right here. If one minute, five minute, 15 minute, whatever. And it gives you the uh, trades going on. You don't even need to log in, man. Just it's more for a real time situation awareness of what's happening with the pricing. Then you can go over here to this Bitcoin uh, coin analyze and just look at all these metrics coming in and, uh, you can Google what these mean, find out what this um, aggregated long short account ratio means and give you a better idea how to read it. I think it's getting up there from what I heard today. If it gets to 1.6, you probably have another pullback. So I don't know. Maybe that's a warning indicator. You can say, oh my God, it's getting close to 1.6. I better just hold off for a minute if I'm going to buy and then it's going to correct a little bit, like a couple thousand. Boom. And then maybe you jump in. I have no idea. But you got to just start looking at the stuff and seeing some patterns. Do it at work. Who cares? Nobody cares. <laughs> Most people I worked with were um, government contractors. Nobody worked. They just watched YouTube all day and wasted, wasted the taxpayers' money. Pretty funny. <laughs> Looking back, uh, yeah, when you see, a, when you see a, a government employee or a contractor, just go, oh, my God.
nobody works anymore. You know what I mean? There's only like, what is the rule? 2080, maybe 20% of the people actually work. The rest just mooch off the whole system. All right, that's a rant. Let's get out of this mess. Go forth to great things. So that's before we head out. Yeah, 65, pretty good. I mean, earlier today, like I said, not even an hour ago, 62. So yeah, we're up. Yeah, up three, three K baby. Yo, big daddy with little volume. Go figure. I still need to figure this out. Someone educate me. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys. I'm out.